convened a group of international scientists and policymakers here in uh, New York uh, within the context of the uh, Science Summit. And the main reason we're doing that is to advance a greater appreciation, understanding and awareness of the contribution of science to the attainment of the SDGs. And of course, we all know the biodiversity challenges globally, so the focus here today, led by LifeWatch Eric from Andalusia in Spain, is to advance the contribution of biodiversity data to solving these global, global challenges. It really gives me a great pleasure on behalf of UNESCO to address you here at this really very critical moment, historical moment in the world. Excellencies, science is indeed a global public good. And established some 75 years ago, UNESCO is a scientific enterprise because we recognize the tremendous power of science to shape the future of humanity. The world needs more science, more women, more men and scientists, but we need their recommendations. We need ancestral knowledge developed across generations to deal with each specific situation. LifeWatch and GBIF are co-collaborators on a couple of EU grants that are really focused on bringing together uh, different uh, data streams, for example, taxonomy, literature, DNA sequences, and specimens, and really bringing those, our infrastructures aligned so that data is shared amongst these different in infrastructures very seamlessly. It was uh, a hybrid event which uh, had uh, a couple of uh, very strong objectives. We picked up um, two of those which are the uh, Sustainable Development Goals uh, number 14, which is uh, Life Underwater, the Sustainable Development Goal number 15, which is Life on Earth. We tried to find the ways uh, by which uh, these Sustainable Development Goals can be um, achieved and how the also multiple actors and the global scale uh, at the European scale as well can help towards this uh, direction. Understanding biodiversity is critical to ensure a sustainable earth for the future. Mainly, resistive infrastructures are seen like uh, a tool for supporting research, attending to the demand of the scientific uh, community. However, the research infrastructure are um, much more than that. The research infrastructure have also an important growing role in policy making, as they can contribute to cross-sectoral strategies and to increasing the coherence between the global, regional and national priorities and policies. They also deliver essential data for more reliable communication to the public. That is very important, especially we have seen in Spain in the communication related with the volcanic eruption in La Palma. Everybody knows that we are living a biodiversity loss crisis. And after this meeting, we are going to deliver a proper document in order to engage the most outstanding stakeholders, not only at the European, but the worldwide level in that regard. Based on scientific data, based on fairness of data, services and people, by guaranteeing their interoperability, taking into consideration the different requirements, needs, focus on the paradigm of the so-called indigenous knowledge. Why? Because one of the main conclusions is that one of the, our motives is thinking globally, acting locally. We cannot act locally without knowing the commons to face, to deal with in global sense and vice versa. We've been working with all the region uh, from the Patagonia uh, to the Latin American and Caribbean countries. So it's really important to establish contacts between, uh, establish long-term contacts and um, good contacts, like trustable ones, between Latin America and Europe uh, and develop international cooperation between them uh, in this area, uh, learning from the experience of both sides. In Undo State particularly, we are facing a lot of issues that we want LifeWatch Eric to help us focus on. We are looking at ocean surge, whole communities are getting wiped away by climate change, by rising sea levels. 
we are facing depleted aquifers. We are tapping into underground water and that affects biodiversity. We are facing extinction of species in our forest, in our biomes, in our ecosystems, and we would like LifeWatch Eric to focus on this too. Finally, we had uh, a very lively discussion trying to uh, wrap up what is uh, actually the contribution of uh, open data, of uh, collaborative and democratic working environments, uh, which the uh, research infrastructures such as LiveWatch, uh, global aggregators such as uh, the GBIF can do.